<laughs> You're bending the shit out of that thing. Just it's really, it. it's really hard now. Just open it. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm fucking trying. I can see it from the side. It's like this. <laughs> <laughs> you made that so difficult. <laughs> Look at my finger, dude. <laughs> the crease. <laughs> the crease. <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> Sip it. Sip it. <clears throat> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> what is going on, people? people? Welcome back to the Top Tier Podcast. This is episode 105. 105. See, last last episode, I said 105. Turns out it was actually 104. Did you fix it or no? So you didn't realize? Well, I, I, I fixed it in the description. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but when we were recording, I was like, oh, yeah, 105 fucking episodes. My name is Brendan. And, of course, find me on the YouTubes over at youtube.com slash Factor. You can find this show. The Top Tier Podcast over at youtube.com slash Top Tier Podcast with me today. Lou Tixon. Number one. And uh, fuck, that's it. And that's it. And that's it. We've had like what two of these in the that, last that's five the episodes. All you need, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice and intimate, just the two of us. We chilling, dog. We chilling. But uh, I, I guess it's just the way it is right now, man. Everyone's so fucking busy. Like Sundays are pretty much off the table for Bear because that's like his family night. Mm. It's like every Sunday he mm. gets together with the rest of the Saffies. Yeah. Or it's on just, vacation, though. I know. Or it's just an excuse because I'm pretty sure the <laughs> Saffies are off yeah. in Dominican right oh, now. Some, yeah, that's where it was. Yeah. Um. So, Bear, I know you watch this after the fact. I'm on to you, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> we on to you, dog. And then, um, no, Billy's legit busy, but uh, Ben's been doing, like, uh, he did, like, a shootout in where, like, Squamish or some shit like that. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, he's been tied up. What's new with you, man? What's going on? Because this is, this is the first time, I think it's the first time I've seen you since we moved, like, when since you helped with the move, right? Yeah. That shit was three weeks ago. Was that three weeks ago yeah. already? Yeah. No I've way. been living here for three weeks. Seriously? Yeah. I feel like that was just like last weekend I or know, something. I know, it's fucked up. <laughs> That's what happens when you get old. Crazy, dude. You, to, you, you lose your sense of time. You lose your sense of time. It it's like, goes, uh, it I, feel like, I feel like I'm bugging you guys every weekend to get together to podcast. But it's like, again, that was a long time ago <laughs> since yeah, our last yeah, recording yeah, session. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've just been, you know, I've been, I've been on the grind still. You know, the usual usual stuff. Mm. Auditioning here and there. Working on some films. and uh, But lately... uh. What's been taking up most of my time is I've been working. League of the, Legends. The, yeah, back on that league. <laughs> back on that ARAM, dog. Monty, dog. I, I see you. I see you. <laughs> but no, I was going to say, because I've been back on that PSVR tour. Oh, so shit. I've been working. Uh, That's right. Yeah, I've been working. It's like long days, man. Like 12 hour days. What? Every day. Where are you guys uh, Where are you guys at this time? Are you still in Metro? or? Today's the last day for Metro. So now next week we're in Guilford Center. She told me I would have come by, man. I thought you knew, though. No, I, <laughs> well, I knew you were doing it. I didn't know when it was yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. I saw I saw Bear at the mall yesterday. He was there. What was he doing so there? He was buying, he went to visit Winnie and then he was buying some Vans. He's like he needed some work shoes. <laughs> he went to Vans to get some comfy shoes. I guess like their department, they're pretty like casual. So like, oh, okay, I was about to say he went to Vans yeah, to get work he, shoes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> with <his> government job. <laughs> <laughs> Works for some skaters. I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so a lot of that. So it's been nice to have like a day mm-hmm. off today, you know. What um, slept all day. Are you guys still demoing the same shit? No, they're different games. I mean, What's, the only one I... that's the that's the same as like PSVR, like the the VR worlds. Right, and that's, that's got like, like a know, compilation. That's, like, the basic, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you guys have like a? Uh, do you have Moss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah. you have Moss what else? Is great. Uh, we got. Uh, let me think. We you got should know this. You've been twelve-hour days. I know, but I'm so fried because of this. <laughs> Legit, because we have to tally the games that people play, right? Oh, and so super hot is super hot is one of them, right? And I think the most popular one because like kids, I guess, see like they they see their favorite YouTubers playing that shit, right? Well, I think also super hot is one that's that fucking experience can't be had anywhere else. Like yeah, you can yeah, play yeah. super hot like the PC version yeah, or whatever yeah. with a controller. It's fucking not the same in yeah, VR. Yeah, it's, it's totally insane. different. Uh, I think it's like my favorite VR game. Yeah, but I was like, so because like so so tired. Like I get like there's always a point during the shift that you get just so fried and done. <laughs> it's like even though Super Hot's the most popular game and I've tagged the shit out of it I'm like hey what the fuck is this, the fuck is this game called again <laughs> <laughs> you're like fuck I can't even like it's so yeah. what uh it's 12 hour days you get like an hour of break or what I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about this shit on the on the air here Play- even the Playstation uh Playstation stuff what do you right think, do they think I'll tell you watching? about it after I'll tell you about it but is, are they breaking some rules or what 
I'll tell you about it after. Okay, I'll tell you about it after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so they're just, they're just long days, and like it's fun. Like it's a super fun job, and it's always cool, see, especially like you know you get the first timers trying it out, and you see mm. the reaction. They're like, you know, they're like super into it, they're super stoked, and they they or like they come in kind of skeptical, and, and then they yeah, leave, yeah. and they're like, whoa, cat, what the fuck are you doing? So it's always cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he wants to join in, man. <laughs> Give it his two cents. I want to share my thoughts, too, man. <laughs> He's like the most vocal fucking cat. He is, he is man. He He's just, see. He'll just stand in front of your face and he just go meow, 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 meow. Boy, meow when he's hungry, meow. he will what not the shut the want? fuck up. Even when he's just eating, he'll do that, right? <laughs> like I, I fed him like here. new food because like we don't, we don't have that pet store right by our place anymore. So we've been trying to get him on some other types of wet food. That's like which pet store? Because I used to live right by King Ed's Pet Store, right in Burnaby. <laughs> All right, motherfucker. And uh, so the the cat food that they sell isn't readily available in this area. And so we tried to get him on new food. He grazes it once. And and there's, there's so, so much, much hair already. It's okay, summer, dude. He's, shed out? he's shedding like crazy. So we we got him on this new food, and he fucking uh, loves it. Oh, yogurt. And so like he was eating the other day, and so he's like eating, and he was like meowing at the same time. He was like taking some bites. And he went back to eating. I was like, this cat is fucking out of his mind. And he was in the litter box. He was literally just in the litter box. He's got litter all over my pants now. He's all over. You shit or what? You got got poop on my pants? No, you know what? That's my bad. I need to change the litter. (laughs) Well, do the reason. I I don't want to change it until I I leave this weekend. I'm going to change it the day before we leave. Because we head down to PAX Friday night. Oh, you're going to PAX this year? Yeah. Me? Oh, fuck. It's going to be a shit show. Who are you going with? So it's me and Chriselle. Beirudi and Whitney the Santos Flores. Yep. Boris and Kimmy. And then our other friend Dimitri. And we are all staying in a one bedroom Airbnb. Are you kidding? <laughs> one bedroom? So there's one queen bed, one full like like uh, you can fit two people on the pull out bed, and then we're gonna use an air mattress. Originally it was just gonna be the six of us, but then Dimitri, they want to invite Dimitri too, which is totally fine. I'm cool with Dimitri. I'm just like, oh, it's going to be fucking tight. So Dimitri's like literally going to have to bring like a sleeping bag and like slum it in the hallway or some shit. In the hallway? Well, not in the hallway, but like in like, just like in some nook somewhere in the, in, in, the, in, the, in the Airbnb. Yeah, in the fucking tub. <laughs> he's, he's tall though. He's probably on I know. <laughs> <laughs> legs bent. But like, I'm not going to compromise. Like I did all of the leg work. I yeah, booked yeah, the place. But... I bought our PAX tickets. I'm just like I'm getting that queen size bed. <laughs> Hell yeah, man, get that shit. So they they can they can. You're not gonna let Dimitri sleep over with you, dog. Hell no, man. You you can fit him on that. <laughs> Probably he's really scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes yes. Make him sleep sideways. But um. Bottom. So that's the reason I didn't want to change the litter because my dad is actually staying here. For the weekend. You're gonna make a dad do it. Yeah. Well, no, I'm gonna make him watch the cat. I'm, I'll change the fucking litter. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I didn't want there to be like, you know, I want it to be fresh litter when we leave and shit. Make that's it look nice. like we have that's our nice. shit together. That's nice. Yeah. When's the last time you've been to PAX, man? The only time. When we went. Whenever the hell that was that we went. Did you come with us the first, very first time we with went? With Phil. That was 2011. That was the first time, right? Yo, that, yeah. was that was the only time, seven right? years ago. I thought that was the best time because that was when they were, weren't watching the swag bags. You have no context. You've only been <laughs> well, I'm saying I thought that was the best... <laughs> For like swag content and stuff, because I thought like they stopped kind of, they were a little more stingy the next few years. No, this is true. Like it's been, like diminishing returns. That's all time. I want to go. Like for some people, some people go for shit. just like the yeah the swag. This year I don't give a fuck because I know I know what to expect at this point. Like all the good shit you're gonna have to just buy, which is totally fine. Like when I was did my purge before we moved, too much packs shit I got rid of. Yeah, no, so much. A shitload. Junk. And like I remember Billy. Billy would just. That, that guy was, like, on another level when it came to, like, hunting for free shit. Yeah. He would, like, <laughs> a shirt's a shirt is a shirt. Man. I remember one, <laughs> one time, <laughs> there was, like, the, I guess they just, like, uh, there was just, like, a box, and you just grab whatever ones. Yeah. And he went, he grabbed, like, three of them. <laughs> <laughs> all, like, I think they were, like, uh, I, th- I think they were, like, Lord of the Rings, like, the MMO yeah, yeah. Uh, shirts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he grabbed, like, three of them, and they're all, like, XL. <laughs> That's hilarious. Dude. A shirt's a shirt's a shirt. A shirt's a shirt is a shirt. <laughs> I think he gave him to his brothers, but I, those motherfuckers never wore that shit yeah, once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's so I don't know. It's a bit much. It's the best though. <laughs> I was using my uh, my Magic the Gathering uh, 
bag thing the other day. I said, like, man, I remember like Bear was good. Bear always shits on it, like, oh man, you you wear those fucking t-shirts one time. I <laughs> he went off on a tangent, just like complaining about the swag and how people go and they just like there's like a subreddit just for PAX swag hunters, uh-huh. right? And he's like, those motherfuckers, those oh the swag, don't go for the swag. And he was on the podcast going off on like a rant. And this motherfucker was wearing a PAX unfinished swan t-shirt. <laughs> And I called him out right there. I was like, Bear, you're wearing a fucking pack That sounds familiar. Right was now. I there? I think I might you're have been probably there. Yeah, that sounds familiar. <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't know what it is, but that unfinished swan shirt. I have so many, like, stories about that shit. Because Billy had that shirt, Billy, too. Because yeah, Billy, when he yeah. was renoing his yeah, place, yeah. that shirt, he was, <laughs> was wearing so that grody, shirt man. every day. That was a white shirt. That shit was yellow yeah, yeah. and crusty by the end of it. It, turned, it was like an eggshell white by the <laughs> end of it. <laughs> <laughs> you had to throw it out. What do you want to go this year for then? If you're like, mm. you know what you're expecting, like why? Well, first of all, like when you think back to like when we went to PAX, the funnest times are always like, with like our drive down there, our hotel room shenanigans, yeah. are just our stupid ass fucking stories, right? And so that's like half the fun is just the trip with. It's gonna be a shit show. There's seven of us. Yeah. So like that is you know that's part of the fun. Um, so when it comes to like the swag, I don't really care. About, there's one game I want to fucking play and that I know is gonna be there. Resident Evil 2. Oh, I need to play that demo. HD. And, um... <laughs> HD. No, it's just a complete re- remake. It's not even a remaster. Yeah, it's yeah. the ground up. Yeah, yeah. Completely rebuilt it. Have you seen, like, What do you think of that new gameplay? It looks fucking incredible. Yeah, yeah. It looks incredible. Like, I was, uh... Because they just, at Gamescom, they showed, like, the Claire kind of yeah, gameplay yeah, and stuff. What do you think of her look? So when I when they first showed her, I was like, ah, Claire looks kind of weird. That's because they, like, only briefly showed her face. But now in this one, like you can kind of spend some more time with her, and you know. I thought Leon kind of looked weird, to be honest. They both are like super yeah. baby faced. Yeah, I think that's you know what, what it mean? is. Yeah, like he looks way more. They look like they're teenagers. Looks way better in four, you know. Well, and four, he's also like thirty. Yeah, but he's right? still like he's. But this one, he's like he straight up looks like he's like guy. fresh out the womb. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. He looks like a child. So he's supposed to be like nineteen or something like that. 18? Yeah, there's they're like both still supposed to be young, so I guess it kind of makes sense. Either way, it's such like a little. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah. just, I just feel like in a remake they look, you know, better. better? I think they still look good. Yeah, they don't look I bad. Think, like, they don't look they, bad. Uh, they don't, get me wrong. They don't like, look bad. Uh, they show gameplay of like Birkin, yeah, like the yeah, big yeah, dude yeah, with yeah, the yeah. eye on his yeah, shoulder, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And he looks fucking incredible. Yeah, yeah he looks. He looks, he looks yeah, like yeah. crazy, and he like the way he animates, and like he looks so fucking grotesque, and he looks like he's in pain. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's yeah, like yeah. ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's just like this looks dope. This looks dope as hell. Birkin. Um, so I can't wait. That's honestly like, that's my most anticipated game. Like, was that supposed to come out this year? No, year? that's only January. Year? Yeah, early next so year. So it's, yeah. you know, four months away. It's pretty close. It's super close. Five months away. Um, and like other games that are going to be at the show, like Smash Bros. Sure, I'm looking forward to Smash Bros. But I know what to expect. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like going to play like yeah. four, just maybe a little bit quicker, I think. Yeah. A few little gameplay tweaks. But it's uh, you could totally tell that Let's game is some new based characters, on four. Dog. Yeah, well, I mean, it depends on the build. Yeah. Um, like if they have King K rule, I'm all about that shit. Yeah. I want to go try fast, that shit hey? He does. Like, yeah, I thought he'd be heavier. Well, even the Ridley like, looks kind of fast. He's like right? Mario fast. Yeah. I don't know. He looks fun, man. I'm he looks for unique. Waluigi, man. Why isn't Waluigi? He could at least be like an Echo fighter for Warrior or something, you know? There's been. Uh, he's not going to be an Echo fighter. I doubt it because he's already an assist trophy. Yeah, no, it's weird. I don't know, like, it, the, it's kind of, like, memefied, the fact that everyone wants Waluigi in the game. Yeah, I, want, I legit want Waluigi. But I'm just game. like, do people really love Waluigi this much? Yes. Why? Because he's dope, man. Because he's dope. He's it, never had a starring role in his own game. He's purple, dog. He's purple. Like, I get it. I guess he's, it's just the fact that he's, like, the underdog. He's never had a game of his own. He's just, like, you know, he's kind of funny looking. I mean, like, Daisy's never had a game of her own. Hmm. You know, they throw her in there. <clears throat> yeah, I guess so. Like, I get it. Like, I, f- I think all of that car- core, like, Mario cast... I just feel like it'd be easy be to do, it. you know? Like, y- y- Well, I don't even think you can make him an Echo Fighter. Like, who do you make him an Echo Fighter of? Mario Dog. He's a little, he's a little faster. Yeah. <laughs> he's got way longer he's reach. Little, little he doesn't hit quite yeah, as hard. Yeah, I guess maybe, he could you know, probably make it just work. Just tweak the stats a little bit. But, like, you know, Wario's got, like, the, the bite. I couldn't see Waluigi doing the bite. I guess. Or the bike. I guess he gets to the bike. Or just make him like, I like you the know, shoulder charge. Like I just, you know how like Lucas is different, but similar to Ness. Yeah. Well, do you know what though? Um, I think with uh, what's his name, Crom, 
mm-hmm. the Fire Emblem character, yeah. they kind of like gave him a mix of Ike moves yeah, yeah, yeah. and like and, Marth and, moves. Yeah, yeah. So I guess at this point, with the, because of that, yeah. like fuck, they can probably do whatever. Just something like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Nothing too Just crazy. Make it work. Um, make it work, man. Just make it work. What did, what did you think about that? So they got like the Castlevania characters in there, the Belmonts. It's, like, it's just funny you seeing that trailer where Luigi dies and everyone's I know, like, oh, I was like, what is he okay? Oh. Uh, but no, it looks cool, man. Like it looks looks pretty badass. Like his his move set looks pretty sweet. Yeah, he might be. Uh, you know? yeah, I've never actually played any. Of, I mean, like I played them a little bit, like on an emulator. But like yeah. I've never actually played through. Like, it's a funny. Proper, I was like, thinking of going back game. because you know I've been in such a I've been in such a retro like mode recently. I want to go back and play some of the just like the classics. Like there's so many Castlevania games. There's like a shitload, and I don't know if I'd go back and play the NES ones, but. At the very least, I'd like to go back and play like Symphony of the Night because I never played Symphony of the Night. Which and one's that's, that one? That's the PS One. Oh, the PS One. Castlevania. Yeah. That's the one that stars Alucard. Mm. Um, and that's probably like, that's the one that took the game and made it like Metroid style, mm. Metroidvania style. Because mm. uh, the ones before that on like the SNES and stuff, they were they were not kind of like open map like that. It was more linear. Mm. Um, and then with Symphony of the Night, yeah, it turned it into more like more, you know. Metroidvania open not open world but you know exploration based mm-hmm. and shit but I don't know and then the the GBA ones are supposed to be really good GBA dog play that play that shit we're gonna jump into some questions let's do it from the community and uh, by the way so as you guys know we are doing our week one week two type format so one week we do our podcast the following week we do our uh, gaming stream Woo-hoo. not stream but gaming video so last week we did Overcooked. Did you catch any of that? I did. I was watching a bit of it. I didn't finish it yet. I'm like halfway through, but it was funny, man. I, uh, I fucked up uh, Billy's audio. Billy is going off, man. Billy's audio is always way too low. Yeah. The motherfucker's always talking inside here. He's super quiet. I said, like, God damn it. So I, <laughs> it took me so long to find like good audio settings to like, you know, to balance it and shit. Yeah. But um, the video is still pretty funny. And uh, <laughs> Overcooked 2 is a lot of fun because we played a little bit of the first one. We played a decent amount of that. And one, yeah. I, we didn't finish it. We never did. We, but we, we got we got we got pretty far. We got to like the ice level and we kept falling off the yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. But in this one, this it's cool because you can like throw ingredients and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Um so this week we are gonna play some light gun games. We've been talking about playing fucking light gun for games the longest for time. like five, six months, and it just never ended up happening. So today we're gonna Fire. play some fucking vampire night. Yes. <laughs> PS2 Legit. light gun and uh we were, we got my CRT here. So dope. And, uh, you know, it's really hard to find, like, legit playthroughs of these types of games because yeah. nobody has CRTs anymore. Yeah. Nobody has it, but we got it. We're going to do it. And we got uh, two light guns. We got it, it's, man. It's it's a little extra. Um, but anyways, let's jump into some questions from the top tier community and look for Vampire Night next week. <laughs> Shit is going to be tight. <laughs> so um, tight. So, you guys, if you want to send in questions, send them in to top tier podcast at gmail.com or join the community discord and uh we haven't gotten i feel like most of our questions come in through the discord now yeah but uh that's cool we got a we got an email question so before it gets drowned out and all of the spam i just wanted to read through it this is a question from ludi l-u-d-i is that how you would sure uh hey everyone i'm a long time listener but the, this is the first time i'm sending in a question I guess I would like to know what you all love the most about living in Vancouver. I visited a few months ago and thought everyone there was so wholesome and unusually nice compared to the States. Thanks, and I hope you're all having an amazing day from Ludi. <laughs> Vancouver. What do I love about Vancouver? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, maybe <laughs> I guess we're a little jaded from living here, but like... <clears throat> I know. You know? the cost of living like there's i'm sure yeah. if you visit here it's probably dope yeah yeah i can but, see uh, like because there's de- it's definitely a beautiful city especially when is. the sun's shining you know um because you can see the mountains and the ocean like there's not a lot of places there's you not get a lot that. of places like that for sure um, we have we have like we have everything right we got the yeah, mountains yeah. like you could literally be snowboarding and then down at the beach later in the day yeah. so i guess like, yeah, it's fucking crazy true, there's a lot of stuff you can do in one day that's like outdoor recreational stuff yeah you know so that's pretty cool I mean, cost um, of living here is crazy high. Cost of living is insane. <laughs> but, um... I'm, I'm a lot of... Yeah, just in general, cost of living. Everything's expensive. In the everything's Korea expensive these here. Days. Um, but, I mean, that's that's because everyone wants to fucking be here. Like, I grew up on Vancouver Island. And Vancouver Island's fucking amazing, and I love it there. Um, but there is no fucking work. <laughs> it's really hard to, like... You know, that's why cost of living here is so high. It's, it's because where all the... Like, there's tons of opportunity. If you, like, live in British Columbia, like... 
this is this is the the place to be you know what mm-hmm. i mean if you want to really get a career going and it's it's just hard to do elsewhere yeah. you know what i mean yeah um but that being said there's this is a, it's a really fucking beautiful city there's a lot of uh I, I feel like there's a lot of cool like places to eat we got great food definitely have great um, food we have a t- huge like asian population so there's like amazing asian food like legit asian food like here. legit asian food because yeah it's authentic yeah um yeah and i don't know this is like there's a good culture here yeah. Because of the fact that it's so multicultural, I feel like there's not a whole lot of ignorance, I guess you could say. And everyone's very kind of, it's like a melting pot of like so many different cultures and shit. And I think that's like one of the highlights. You can, they're like, not just Asian food, there's a lot of good Indian food, all kinds of food. Indians, that's pretty Asian. South, South Asia. South Asian, <laughs> South Asian, you know. That's it though, man. I guess, like, yeah, if you're an actor, know. this is yeah, one of the best yeah, places to be say, as well. Like, as an actor, like, it's, it's definitely beneficial to my career choice, you know? Right. So, there's that. <laughs> also, I feel like this is, like, one of the few places in Canada where you get, like, legit seasons. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, because, like, that. if you go in, like, the interior, like, yeah. fucking Alberta, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, you get maybe a month of summer and it's crazy fucking hot and disgusting. Yeah, yeah. And then it's like ice cold, yeah. like uh, freezing the rest, the rest of the year. Of the time. Yeah, yeah. It's like ridiculous. It's true. It's so we true. we have like we have probably the best weather in Canada, even out east, like fucking Almost, Toronto, uh, yeah, yeah, Montreal. It's brutal out there. Ottawa, insane. Yeah. Or like, Just the, like the extreme the, hot or extreme the Maritimes. cold. Yeah, yeah. Shit gets way too cold. Yeah, yeah, Forget yeah. it. So it's nice. It's a nice balance for sure. It's almost mm-hmm. like you know. And I guess like it's the easiest climate around here. Yeah, I guess people are kind of friendly. Like I feel like when I go down to the states, people are friendly too, but. I guess, uh, fuck, it depends where you depends go. Depends where you go. You know I what I mean? I say, it depends where you go. And, um, you know, I like you say, it's like easy to be jaded living here in Vancouver, but I feel like when I go to other cities and when I travel a lot, I definitely learn to appreciate Vancouver. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, like, we're going down to PAX next weekend. And, um, like, I love Seattle. I think it's a great city. There's tons of cool Sounds barcades and shit place, there. place, man. But, like, I remember being downtown Seattle. I think I've told this story before. On, like, a Saturday night, I was with, like, Boris and uh, my girlfriend and Kimmy. And we're like, all right, Saturday night. And, dude, that it was a ghost town. There's, like, the like the nightlife culture. I guess we were just, it's, really, like, not yeah. in downtown Seattle. Really? There was, like, I, was, I was in Seattle just, like, last weekend, I think, with, uh, with my girlfriend. Because mm-hmm. uh, we went out for, like, dinner with her, with her family there and... And it was pretty busy, man. Like really? it was, yeah. And I remember thinking, man, Seattle's a weird place. Not just because of like, <laughs> you know, as you could tell, it had character. It had that kind of it does quirky, for sure. Like, you know, it had its own thing going on. But I was like, this is a cool place, man. Yeah. You know, that's what I like about living. Like, I just moved, obviously, here in yeah. New West. This fucking New West, like the strip here and shit, in, like Columbia. Mm-hmm. There's so much character here. Yeah. Um, and there's like a lot of like mix between like old buildings like super old buildings like super new buildings yeah i like yeah, places yeah. like that yeah you know what i mean yeah you see a bit um, of the history still yeah yeah like know? a lot of like old heritage shit yeah and they yeah. like preserve it i think that's super yeah, cool yeah um so seattle has some old places like that like uh, i know around pike place there's tons of history there and it's like an older kind of neighborhood about uh, and like here in vancouver like in gastown mm-hmm. i guess that's yeah i don't know i like i like that kind of shit mm-hmm. places with history because you don't really get that here in north america you mm-hmm. know what i mean yeah I like their uh, their market there, you know that uh, Pike Place. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Is that the one that's like the Fisher the yeah, Fisherman's yeah, that place. place? They throw yeah. the fish around and shit. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. It's cool. It's nice. It's cool. Anyways, I hope that answers your question, <laughs> Ludi. Um, Ludi. Let's jump into some questions from the community Discord. Discord. Uh, Crow Slash Hero asks, are there any hope for DC movies wise? We'll see, man. Well, I, I mean, mean there's I certainly mean, hope. Shazam looks promising, to be honest. Like, it looks, it looks like it'll get there. It's like, like that Shazam trailer, I'm so torn about on it. Like, it looks very self aware. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's stupid and it knows it's yeah. kind of stupid. Yeah. Like, how do you take Shazam seriously? But I don't know. Just about it. it looks it looks so cheese. Like it looks. Well, it's it's about a kid who gets superpowers. Gets superpowers it's and like it a, looks like an adult. Like you know, like yeah. what do you expect from a movie like that? Like I like I like Zachary Levi, but something about it, it just looks weird. It's probably the fake muscles. Right. Yeah, it's the he, fake. He did get muscles. big, but his suit like they still, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. puffed it up. Yeah, yeah. For I'm sure. not a fan of that, but I mean, like, I don't know. We'll see. Like the tone of the film definitely looks like a step in the right direction for them. Yeah. For me. How about, how about Aquaman? Um, did Aquaman, you like that shit? 
Aquaman, uh, I don't know yet. I don't know. Like, I'm I'm, ex- I'm looking forward to seeing it. I it's, am. It's uh, I think James Black, Bond. Black Manta looks dope. Black Manta looks dope like, as he hell. Looks dope as hell. I just like it's just the it's got Patrick Wilson. You just kind of have to, yeah, Patrick Wilson. Yeah, but yeah, you just have to get through all the CG, you know. Yeah, it it's, looks. It's, it's, it's got that look. It's got some know. CG diarrhea yeah, yeah, going so on a little bit. Hopefully that doesn't detract too much or distract too much. And just like I don't know, yeah, I love <laughs> Jason Momoa. It's just like. His take on Aquaman is still like I don't know I'm, I don't love it, but it's like I kind of do like it. I like it I just, because I don't love like, it. it's just like how I don't the know. fuck do you make Aquaman work? You well, know what I mean? I think there's ways probably, but I don't know. But yeah, could you like, go? Could you do the fucking fifties blonde Aquaman? Like I think I think if you get like a, cheesy, a something like, something in between, you know, like surfing the fish or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> I feel like the, I don't know, man. You could, if she's riding a shark or something, like, that'd be cool. You I know? guess so. Uh, no, I, I do. I guarantee you, at some point, Jason Momoa is going to do that. He better do that. He's gonna. He's gonna like ride a blue whale or some shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm <laughs> dope with that yeah, shit. Yeah. Be. But like, I love Jason Momoa. It's just like the whole like, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> is that really Aquaman? You know, like I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely but his own so, spin I hope on it. If they can yeah. kind of balance it, you know, like, because uh, in Justice League that was like all he was, right? And that's just kind of he was of, a fuck yeah. Know, he was like a caricature. At in, least we'll we'll see like you know some like, backstory here and there. We'll see kind of like his motivations and this and that. So it's very. I like the fact that it's like super colorful. Yeah. yeah you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like um, the, because yeah, especially coming off of Justice League, which is yeah. so so dark. Yeah. And yeah. so serious. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, I remember like just seeing Black Manta though. I was like, okay, yo, Black Manta looks sick. <laughs> <laughs> he, looks he does like look sick. Tight. He looks like he yeah. looks so true yeah, to yeah, Black Manta. Exactly, like, exactly. And then we shooting the lasers out of his eyes and stuff. Like. I was like, yo, that's so sick. He looks like they were they straight up ripped off the Injustice model yeah, and just exactly, put him in. Exactly, like, exactly, and, exactly that. Because he looks just so spot on. He's just on. like CG anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, what gives a shit? Uh, but, Hit up uh, Ed Boon, yo. <laughs> you at the same time, again, it's like, are there too many characters? Hopefully not. You know, like, because are there too many bad guys in this movie? Cause yeah, it looks like like Patrick Wilson's the bad guy, yeah. and then Black Manta's also yeah, the bad guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you could have two bad guys. And you could, you know, I'm like just saying, Dark Knight did it. We'll see. I mean, you know, but they haven't made a Batman Dark Begins Knight did it. caliber film in a while. You know, like, it's true. Do you know what fucking Dark Knight's ten years ago? I was just reading that um, ten year anniversary of the Dark Knight, and yeah. I think it's still my favorite superhero movie. It's fantastic of all time. I wouldn't yeah, actually. I wouldn't, it's so funny. I had it on the other day. Wouldn't blame me for that. And like. Like, does DC still have a chance? As long as they have Batman, they still fucking have a chance. Like, I love Marvel. I love their whole stable of characters. But I think the best, like, my personal favorite superhero is still Batman. You know what I mean? Batman's crazy, dog. He's just the best. He's mental. He's just the fucking best. He's insane. Um, he's got the best stable Batman's of villains, Batman's got too. issues, dog. He's well, that's got what the makes best, him so great. He's got the best rogue gallery, for sure. He absolutely does. Yeah. And I honestly, like, that's... To me, like sometimes you, it's the villains that make mm. the superhero. You yeah. know what I mean? They're they're best like adversaries. Mm. Like they like that's the problem I have with like Superman. Superman's had like Lex Luthor, but it's like I don't know. I, I don't think he's really ever had somebody to really. I guess there's like Doomsday and yeah. other Even shit Dark like Side. that. I guess I just don't Even know Dark Superman. Side, well it was enough. just like all right, you know what? I think you can take a Dark Side. I'm gonna give you all I got, yeah. and then he just destroys him, and it's just like oh okay. So you weren't really in yeah. any danger at all, were you, Supes? You know, he needs, um, he, like, that's why I think also, like, Spider-Man's one of the best fucking yeah, villains, because exactly. Spider-Man's say, got, like, the best. He's got a sweet Rose Gallery, too. One of the best. Yeah, yeah. Um, Definitely fits him. And, uh, so, yeah, I was watching Dark Knight, because they had it on cable, mm-hmm. and uh, fucking Heath Ledger was so fucking mm-hmm. insane. He's incredible. And so now, Joaquin Phoenix, did you hear about yeah, that shit? Yeah, so yeah. he's taken on. We're going to get two Jokers going yeah. on. Cause they, yeah, because Jared Leto's still playing but, him, too. But then we'll probably get a third, too. You think? Well, there's a whole three Jokers thing going on with uh, DC right now. Have you heard of that? No, what's that? No, it's like because like there's a three different Jokers. It's kind of like what, what they're saying. Like in their films. In the, in the comics and stuff. In the comics. In the comics, it's like the three different. Oh, Jokers. so yeah. do they think this is all? So I don't know. I was like maybe you know because people I... are just like oh why is there two Jokers? Because like, I, I was know, under the understanding maybe add that a third. Yeah. the um the uh, the Joaquin Phoenix one was going to be like a standalone movie that doesn't tie into the rest of the yeah, DCU. Yeah, no, it's supposed to be separate. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But I was just saying, like, maybe but who knows? They could just be maybe saying in that. the future. Yeah, I don't know. They could you just know? be saying that shit. I'm looking forward to it either way. But like, it, and the thing I like about it is, like, I think he just released a statement. He's like, I don't care if people what people think of my interpretation yeah, yeah. of Joker. Yeah. And so that that to me is just like good. He's gonna do his own oh, fucking totally. thing. Yeah, yeah. And I think if there's any like current actor in Hollywood who I would absolutely fucking trust with the Joker. 
I think Joaquin might be it. Joaquin Phoenix is incredible. He's man. fucking. He's one of the best he's, in the business. He's, he's incredible, and yeah, I think he's gonna kill it, man. Like yeah. he's seriously, he's got a cool look too. For sure. Um, like he's already yeah. kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he's already probably the Joker yeah, yeah, yeah. in real life. Um. But yeah, I mean, who knows? We'll see. I think it's gonna be good though. Yeah. It's gonna be really good. And yeah, I'm still looking forward to seeing Jared Leto come back at it. I just, I just hope they give him something better to work with, script wise, you know. Why? Well, yeah, f- fucking Suicide Squad was such a, a clusterfuck of mm-hmm. a film, um, because apparently they cut like a ton of his, like the stuff that they filmed. Yeah. And he was really pissed about that. Yeah. Like I'm sure, a lot of people like to hate on Jared Leto, but mm-hmm. it's like, they, dude, that was not his fault. And yeah, exactly. That's I, personally, what I'm I don't. I didn't mind his take on the joker sure it was not either it was something radically different yeah, than what everyone was moments. expecting i guess yeah, yeah, yeah um but that's what i mean like if they gave him something better to work with i'm yeah, sure he would like no, to totally. kill that shit but um the fuck was i gonna say they they just cast him to play morbius you see that shit i did see that yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. we were actually. talking about yeah, it with ben and ben didn't even know he's just like what <laughs> <laughs> because morbius he's like an interesting character but i'm yeah. just like morbius they're gonna do. They're yeah. gonna go on. They're moving ahead with Morbius. Yeah. Like he's cool, but it's like if they're bringing in Morbius, they gotta they gotta bring Blade back. I was gonna say that's probably the part of the plan. That would be cool. Yeah. But who owns Blade right now? It's gotta be at like Mar like Marvel. <laughs> New Line Cinema. <laughs> <laughs> Is New Line even around anymore? I think so. I think really? Yeah, yeah. They're so the name's still out there. I'm pretty sure. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm, they're probably still um, out there. But uh, it's just not. They're not. More than anything, I'm just like, it's hard to replace Wesley Snipes, you know? He really made that character his own. And, like, he's got, like, that mix of, like, just, I don't know. He's he's like, he's also, like, because Wesley Snipes, I feel like, is mysterious enough exactly, like <laughs> to he's, play Blade. You know what I mean? Like, he probably didn't, he didn't have to he try have, so hard, you He know? didn't have to act. Like, it was he's so like, natural to him. And honestly, like, I haven't seen recent pics of Wesley Snipes. He might still be able to do it. Probably. Black don't crack, man. <laughs> <laughs> he might be able to play yeah. like an older version of yeah. Blade. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. He could probably do it. He's got the voice, man. He's got the physique. He's got yeah. the martial arts skills. He, well, he had the physique. I, he probably still he looks probably fine. Still. Yeah, you know, if they gave him the money, he'd probably be able to, you know, put the time. Hundred percent. If they're like, if he, like he had an opportunity to get a, into that MCU action. He's pretty. He strikes me as someone that's dedicated. You know, like I, even though like yeah, there's a whole tax thing going on with him that kind well, of derailed his career. Well, he was dedicated to evading, evading his taxes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he committed to that shit. But he's committed like, to the if blade I'm doing, series. I'm going down you know with the I mean? ship. I'm going to prison. <laughs> he's still like he still says like he's blade. Like he's still like dedicated to the character. Like that's his character. Well, it's like I think that's like his biggest like legacy at this point, yeah. anyways, yeah. right? I mean, he's he's done a lot of good Demolition stuff in Man. the past, but yeah, it's definitely like. <laughs> That's definitely like that's his, the biggest thing. That's his done. biggest thing. Like, but his Blade, cause man, it was so good. Like if you look yeah, back, yeah, Blade and, like, one and two were so sick. One and dude. two were fantastic. They do a trilogy, like Trinity. Say trilogy. what you, trilogy. <laughs> Trinity. Trilogy. Say what you fucking want. It was, it's a, it's got its. It's moments. a fun watch. It's, it's, a, a it's fun entertaining. Watch, yeah. You got Ryan, Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds is a big part. Of Ryan that. Reynolds is fucking jacked yeah. in that film too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he was great. Um. How many superhero movies has fucking Ryan Reynolds been in? Have you ever think, thought about that? Say Blade, Blade, Lantern, Lantern, Deadpool, Deadpool, Deadpool again. X Men. Oh yeah, yeah. The same <laughs> he's, character. He's there, two, right? two the same character. Yeah, X Men or um, uh, Deadpool. Said it. I, I think that's it. <laughs> but still, that's that's insane. Like yeah. he's played like three different, I guess two different superheroes. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of, they're uh, saying like Tom Cruise, right, from Green Lantern, possibly. And you know like, what? I'm cool with that. Everyone's saying, like, oh, he's too old. If they could, like, bring him in as Hal Jordan, and then, like, they usher in Jon Stewart, I guess, and, and into the movie, right? Yeah, and yeah. basically, it's Tom Cruise just handing the reins over to whoever the next Green Lantern would be. Because you could probably... Tom Cruise could probably do one. But he he, he can't do, like, a franchise. He's fucking 57 years old, He's Tom Cruise. Old, he probably would. I guess so, but... Man, he's still he, fit. He is still fit. He Don't still get runs me wrong. and does his own stunts. I know. Like, have you, you know? seen the new Mission Impossible? I haven't seen it. Yet. I, hear it's, I hear it's pretty good. I hear though. it. I hear it's yeah, insane. Yeah. But again, he's still doing all this crazy shit. Yeah, he re- fucking broke his ankle doing a stunt. <laughs> like, like he's fucking fifty-seven years yeah. old. You know how long that shit probably took to heal? <laughs> <laughs> no man, he's got science on his side. I guess so. That Scientology <laughs> yeah, yeah. just pour some random <laughs> fluids on it. It's yeah. all healed the next day. Yeah, yeah. Um, speaking of. Uh, Speaking of like superheroes, I so I just moved into like um, obviously this place, but down the street Game from deals. a block away, there's like this retro game store. Yeah. 
And so I went and I just walked in there randomly on Friday. And I was like, I haven't checked it out in a long time. And uh, I don't know why, but I just went and bought a few Xbox 360 games. I don't know why I bought Xbox 360 games. But have you ever played X-Men Origins? I played the demo of that game. And And it's legit. Let me tell you, this is one of the best fucking superhero video games ever yeah. fucking made yeah. it's m-rated yeah. it's super violent yeah. and it's dope as hell yeah. and i want to I stream remember it. it getting good good ratings it got really stuff. good reviews yeah. and i remember playing the demo and i was like this game's sick it's sick as hell yeah, yeah. and um i want to do a stream of it yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be dope as hell yeah. yeah um and then i got some other random shit but uh splatterhouse not a good game nope. ninja gaiden yaiba yaiba it's with zombies not a good game but it looks interesting I mean, it looks like it'll be yo this shit cost me six dollars all right i'm just like yo i want to try this shit out i want to be ryu hayabusa yeah. and fucking kill some zombies yeah. Yeah. how did they screw that up that sounds like the recipe for success how is it not a good game have you played it already no or no just no bad reviews it, just, it got bad reviews but i'm just like look it's made by team ninja ryu hayabusa fucking killing zombies with a cell shaded art style i'm just like this might be cool for one evening you know but mainly, Too bad. I wanted to buy X Men Origins Wolverine, yeah, yeah. and I got their only copy. I was like, "Yes!" Did you go in knowing you wanted to pick that up, or you just saw it there? It's been one that I've known I wanted for a little while, mm. but I, I never like went out of my way to like order it online. But yeah. I was I was in game deals, and I'm just like, "Oh shit, they yeah. have it!" And it was like yeah. fifteen bucks. Nice. And I'm just like, "Hell yeah, I'm gonna buy that shit." Nice. Um, there's a few other games that are kind of like on my radar that I want to pick up. I wanted to buy. I know there's a new Spider Man game coming out, but I wanted to pick up Spider Man Web of Shadows. Oh yeah, yeah. Have you ever you I heard, that yeah, one? I heard good things about that one. Um, like, I think it's now that it's it's been a while. It's been like ten is that years. That's all different timelines. No, that's Shattered Dimensions. Oh, Shattered Dimensions, right? Um, Shattered Dimensions is is supposed to be decent yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the bad ones to stay away from were like the movie tie-ins after two. Mm, mm-hmm. <laughs> like two was supposed to be good, but it hasn't aged very well. Mm-hmm. So they say that like one of the best Spider-Man games that has aged really well, that's still fun, that's actually kind of crazy is Spider-Man Web of Shadows. Yeah. And I, I looked on eBay just because I was curious after I picked this one up. And dude, that game goes for like $80. Wow. And I was like, what? Is this game actually now sought after? And do you want the reason is, is it's, it's a fucking licensing thing. Mm. And so you can't buy it anywhere. Wow. So they like, it never got an HD remaster. It's not available on Steam. It's just, they're sitting on the Xbox and PS3. Wow. And, like, that's the only way you can buy it. Crazy. So all those old copies, and they don't, like, you can't download it off Xbox Live or nothing like that because wow. of licensing. Same with X-Men Origins Wolverine, but I think it's just easier to find. Yeah. It only cost me 15 bucks. Right. So, I don't know, man. Like, like everyone, like, with video games are so, like, focused on whatever the next next big game is, the right? Shit, it's yeah. always, like, the industry is very always looking forward. And yeah, yeah play whatever is new and then okay new, on yeah. to the next thing yeah but i i've clearly i've had such a retro kick recently and i'm just like they're like four decades cool, yeah again yeah there's a lot of gems there are four exist, decades worth you know? of kick-ass yeah. games even yeah. last gen like there's right now is actually a cool time to try to find those kind of like hidden gems on the 360 mm-hmm. and ps3 because there's fucking dirt cheap right now yeah and there's like yeah if you're a gamer on a budget dude there's so many good games out there oh, yeah it's funny you said because I was looking at a list of like the best Ninja Turtles games. Nice. <laughs> back in the day. Yeah, there was some I was like, oh, I've never heard of this one. That was really? pretty fun though. Like, yeah. whenever it's always about like Turtles in Time and shit like yeah, that. Yeah. That was definitely that was number one. It was number one, of course. Yeah, it's that number was number one. one. But yeah, there's a couple that I was just like, oh, what? What? This looks dope as hell. There was like um, there was like some Smash Bros. clones, like Smash Bros. type mm-hmm. like Ninja Turtle games back in like the GameCube. I remember we played one of them. Did we play one yeah, of those? Yeah, we played one of them. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if they were good though. No, they weren't. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think the last there was a Ninja Turtles game released I think last year by Platinum and it sucked apparently, yeah, yeah. which is really too bad. Yeah, I remember because it looked good. I remember it the looked trailers. good, like it the art like, style. Cool yeah, it was looking like it was going to be something awesome, but then uh, ended up being pretty mediocre, which is a shame. Yeah. Um, and then um, so I, I hooked up my Xbox 360, and uh, I had I still have like some old of my my old like Xbox Live Arcade games installed, and I had Turtles in Time reshelled. And I don't know if you can get that anywhere else. So that's like another game that's just like stranded on last gen. Was that the HD remake? That was the, yeah, it was the HD. It was like the complete remake of Turtles in Time. I forgot about that. Yeah. I remember we played it briefly. We, we did, yeah. yeah, yeah we yeah. should totally just like play it we again do sometime. do that again, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. If, I, I would say that the original is probably better. <laughs> yeah. Just because, I don't know. 
Like, do you want the best version of the game? It's probably not even the SNES version. It's like it's the, the arcade, arcade one. one. Yeah, it's yeah, the arcade one. It's yeah. SNES one. You can only play two players. Yeah, yeah. The arcade one's like, it looks better. Too. It looks better yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. On that cabinet, dog. <laughs> On that cabinet, dog. Oh my teeth. Yo, that shit's like warm. I forgot. But anyways, if you guys have any ideas or recommendations, by the way, of like 360 or PS3 games, because I got this fucking legit, it's almost dangerous for me. I got like this retro game store a block away from my place and they sell shit at really good prices. Like my copy of Vampire Night, I bought that shit there. <laughs> 60 bucks. Sick, dog. You got those uh, light guns there too? I did. Nice. This is a question from Patan Sito. Job interview tips. How was your first job interview? And have you had any, do you have any stories of bad interviews? <laughs> Lou, I know you... Uh, I was going to say, we know how to talk to one. I know you know the one I'm talking about. You, uh, I feel like you've worked some odd jobs. Um, so you've probably yeah. done more job interviews than I have. Because I've been at the same job for like eight years. Yeah, yeah. But what's the one that you're thinking of? Because it's not... Oh, it's the one uh, where I shed a tear for the for the village. <laughs> <laughs> but I've told that story here before. <laughs> I fucking forgot about <laughs> you that. Gotta... Please. It was for uh, I can't remember what the name of the organization. It's probably best I don't say the name yeah, of the organization yeah, yeah. anyway. But it was like, uh, you know, one of those ones where you, you work as those people uh, who kind of approach you. What do you mean those to... people? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean those people? <laughs> you know, the people who work in like they, you know to get like for sponsoring kids basically sure. for you know in, in uh, different parts of the world um and so <laughs> i go into this interview so it's like a group interview so like just like underprepared yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, i'm thinking oh yeah it's gonna be like one of those whatever i'll just go in and you know i know what i'm talking about and you know i care about kids <laughs> you know, i'll do my thing Can't go wrong man and That's uh a solid plan <laughs> I get there and, you know, it's like this whole ordeal. Like, they, you know, they've got, like, presentations and yeah. this and that. And they've got these handouts and, like... They've got some slideshows and shit? Yeah, we've got... Some PowerPoint going yeah, on? Yeah, it's like, it almost felt like a class in school. And like, was it, like, that big of a group Like a interview? social studies class. It was... Mm, there was, like, ten people at least, okay. I think. It might maybe a little bit more. Um, <laughs> uh, but essentially, we had to do this one part where we had to role play uh, being, like people in this village like we were villagers in this village and they gave us I hate roles fucking role play, dude. and and up until that point i was like oh fuck i'm bombing this group interview like this is i'm not gonna get this fucking job yeah and then they get the they're like oh role playing and then i'm like oh here we go i got yeah. this like <laughs> i'm an actor I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> i can role play the shit out of this watch me <laughs> watch me shine <laughs> and so uh they gave me the role of the village elder, right? <laughs> How long was this interview, by the way? Oh, it was long. It Holy was, shit. It was a couple hours, at least. A couple hours at least. for yeah, an interview? At least. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know. They didn't say anything did you, about did they, it. Did they compensate you for your time? <laughs> no, I don't no? think. No, no, definitely not. I did, yeah, because I didn't. Like, they just said it was a group interview. Like, I thought it was going to be like a regular kind of sit-down group interview. Yeah, yeah. Ask you a few questions. I didn't know it was going to be like this. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> and so, anyways, yeah. So, they're like, you know... We basically just had to talk about like why we needed, or what would like kind of benefit us, and blah blah blah, with the people you know sponsoring kids or giving donations or whatever, and <laughs> and so I started going on the spiel. I can't even remember what I was saying, but I was just kind of like talking about like the different parts of my community and like the people in there, and I got like you know really into it, <laughs> and, I, and I shed a tear. <laughs> and I was shedding a tear for. <laughs> you don't remember what you were saying. I can't remember what I was talking about now. Fuck like it was you. like. I'd have to like really sit down and think about really? it. <laughs> but I was just like saying how like you know like there are these people who work really hard, like you know these people who like need medicine and blah blah this mm -hmm. and that. And I, I kind of got like, I think like, getting really into it. <laughs> and I shed a tear and then uh, I finished. And the lady running the interview or <laughs> just like, okay, good, yeah, good job. Okay, let's get the next group up. Blah blah. blah. <laughs> just not even acknowledging it. <laughs> yeah. All right, next. Yeah, uh, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Thanks for that. And I'm walking away like fuck yeah. <laughs> Did you ever hear back from them Fuck at all? No. <laughs> Fuck no. Because, you know, the funny thing was everybody else that was there was like, you know, they were like um, the people in your social studies class who were like teacher's pets who like, you know, were a little bit extra and had their binders ready oh, and like this and shit. that. 
I remember like looking. I'm like, what the fuck? Are you? <laughs> Try hard. Were there a lot of like, were, uh, what was like the demographic of people? The age in the range area? and stuff. Yeah. Oh, it was all over. Like it was a whole, really? a whole bunch of different. Like there were like older men and women. There were like younger, like kind of fresh out of high school Red kids and, and like, like you. <laughs> well, I was time, in like yeah. I was in yeah I was in my early twenties I was like twenty one or oh, something okay. like that still young yeah yeah, okay. yeah twenty one twenty two I think yeah I'd be younger but yeah I was like <laughs> just did not it was not ready for for this like um I remember talking because it was it would have been like at the mall and stuff like they would have a setup and it wouldn't it wasn't like on the street ones and I remember talking to the the person that was there about the jobs and I was talking I asked her about like the interviewing process and stuff and she didn't say anything about all of that. She's like, oh, yeah, I assume it's like your regular kind of, you know, yeah, the yeah. usual stuff. And I was like, okay, like, you know, that's that's cool. I can I can deal with that. I know, I know what you guys are about. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. If I could sponsor kids, I would. I'm broke as but, hell, But though, I need but, the money. You know, that's yeah. why I need this job. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I was like, but I get it, you know? And, I, and Anyway, so I was just like, I did not, I was not ready yeah. for that. So interview tip. <laughs> Oh yeah. Just do your research. Do your research, dude. Just do be prepared. Google the company. I was gonna say, you know, there's this cool website I just found out about. It's called Glassdoor. I don't know if you know about it. Yeah, yeah. No, you can you can hear from former employees. Yeah, from former right? employees That's about right. like it'll, it'll have like what interview it's like questions to work for that. and yeah. uh, you search up whatever job it is and job position from this within this with whatever company. It'll say um, you can search up like the interview questions that a bunch of these people got. So you can come like really prepared. The only, the only thing I feel like with Glassdoor is like it's almost like Yelp in a way, in the sense right. that most people will only post if they have a bad experience. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Um, so I mean, you, but I I think you can still use that as a reference for right. sure. Yeah, for right, sure. To help out, like I still use Yelp, yeah. even though I'm very aware that if someone has a bad experience, mm-hmm. they're far more likely to go online mm-hmm. and rant about it than if you have a good one. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, um, just, just do your research. Just do your research. Um, just come prepared, really. That's that's, that's the only thing. Um, my, uh, I haven't done a whole lot of interviews because I've been, I've been at the same you've company. You've interviewed a lot of people, I'm sure. Eight fucking time. years. Like you've managed McDonald's. And yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I've done interviews. I've conducted mm. interviews. Yeah, yeah so But it's never, it was never for, side. like, dude, I conducted interviews for fucking McDonald's. It's not like. But still, man, you know, like, there's, there's still that sort of, you know. They say McDonald's is a good basis to start. It is. You know, and it, it's funny because the way I would do interviews, is it would almost just be like less me asking questions and more of me just talking to the person. Yeah. Because especially when I like I worked, it was fucking McDonald's. You don't yeah. need good experience. You don't need any experience. It's a, it's a fucking starting job. Mm-hmm. So it's more of just getting a, uh, a feeling of what the person was like. Is yeah. this someone we want working with us? Because it's such a team environment, yeah. right? Um. So I I think also that's an important thing too is like, sure, being qualified isn't everything. You need to come off as like a genuine like good person. (laughs) You know what I mean? Because even with my work right now, it's very like, it's very driven by personalities as well. You know, because you need to be able to work with people. (laughs) You know what I mean? For sure. Um, That's such a huge fucking part of it. Like, someone might be qualified, but they're a fucking douchebag and no one wants to work for them. Then it doesn't fucking matter if they're qualified or not. Holy shit. It's like that in any job. Like, you just got to be, you know, make sure you can come off as someone they'd want to work with. Exactly. You know? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Don't um, try too hard, but, you know. I think my worst personal interview that I've gone into was back when I worked for fucking Best Buy. Yeah. <laughs> and so the, and I don't know what it was. So it was a group, it was a group uh, interview. So it was like, it was like a hiring kind of like um, convention they did, right? Because they, uh, they, they opened like a brand new store here in Burnaby. And so they had to hire like all fresh staff. So they had to hire like a shitload of people, like a hundred plus people. And um, so I was like one of just like probably at least maybe two dozen people in the room at the time. It was just like this big like hall that they rented out and they mm-hmm. were just doing tons of just on the spot interviews and stuff like that. And um, just the, the, the fucking guy who interviewed me, first of all, he was a total, I did not like him, mm-hmm. hated him. And he ended up being my manager, <laughs> but like, like even after I got hired, yeah. um, but it, it was just like an uncomfortable, uncomfortable interview because he asked me to do role play. He's like, and then he asked me to do like, but here's the thing. It was role play with nobody else. Like role play, just me by myself in front of all of these fucking other people. No one else had to role play. Just me. <laughs> I was like, this fucking dude. And then at one point he's just Probably like, cause he saw something in you. <laughs> No, he did definitely did not. <laughs> I was like a twenty year old. No, I was nineteen at the time. <laughs> and then, or at one point, he's like, "Yell as loud as you can." He actually asked me to do that. Like, yell as loud as you can right now. <laughs> 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 I'm just like nobody else was yelling. 
And I'm just like, what the fuck is with this dude and asking me to do all this bullshit? And I guess he just wanted to see how outgoing I was. And I don't know, but I fucking yeah. did it. And everyone's like, what the, what the fuck? That was honestly the worst interview I've ever had in my life. I was like, what the? I, I literally left there thinking like, what the fuck? fuck was that he just made a fool out of me <laughs> he really just this to, job. what kind of stupid shit could i get this kid to do <laughs> like, i feel like that's what it was yeah yeah oh um i'm gonna take that <laughs> one day i'll interview someone like that no don't do that just yell as loud as you can yell as loud i'm sorry just yell as loud as you fucking can what's that, what's that? just scream right yeah. now <laughs> you want this job or not <laughs> fucking just, do it. just scream scream what's wrong i remember this other uh i did a group interview it was for a comic book store. I really, really wanted the fucking job. And I didn't, I don't think I got it. I don't know why. Um, Cause I feel like I did the best out of everyone in that yeah. group interview. Yeah. Um, but uh, I remember not because of what I was saying, but it was because of what one of this, uh, this other girl who was in the group interview. So it was the, ty- the type of group interview where the guy conducting the interview would ask a question and everyone around the table would say something in a response. And so you obviously you could hear everybody else's yeah. response. Yeah. And it was like this girl, I was like, she gave like the lamest dumbest just never do this okay one of the questions he asked was what is one of your biggest weaknesses and her answer was legit i just work so hard that like i don't take enough time for myself because i'm just such a hard worker and i'm just like ain't nobody is buying this shit (laughs) if you want to not get hired don't ever fucking say that that's the stupidest shit yeah yeah that's dumb. <laughs> I know. That's annoying. That's when I was like, that's cringe. Like, yeah, it was really, I'm just like, yeah. oh, I think everyone else in the group too was just like, the fuck is this chick saying? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> Anyways, I hope, I think we gave you some good tips. I hope that helps you out. <laughs> Let us know how it goes. Patancito. And, uh, you know what? I was looking at your fuck. Did you bend on my mic stand here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I was bending this. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> possibly. Yeah. Yeah. That I'm shit a, was not like that before. I'm a beast, dog. We're kinda, I got this shit off Amazon for $11. This one piece costs 11 bucks. Oh, I totally did that, yeah. No, I, whatever. As long as it still holds the mic, I don't really give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I wish uh, I wish Bear was here for that question because he like just had like a huge like he just got a new job yeah, here. Yeah, he's yeah, no longer with yeah, EPN. Yeah, we were just talking about how he's buying shoes for his new job. No, oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's still with EP. He's just not yeah, with them full time. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, so he would have been good to give some tips for job interviews. Sad little pun pun asks cringy high school memories. Cringy high school memories, dude. I, more than anything, just cringy high school photos. Like, my grad photos, dude, I was looking at the <laughs> other day. And, oh, my God. Like, I just... I, just I feel like we grew up, like, in a, a time that really, like, you go back and it's just like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I'm kind of glad to have that because, you know, it's one no, of those ones true. that people can laugh at. Because, like, I have, like, our yearbook. And I remember there's, yeah. like, one picture of, I think, me, you, and Ben. Me, you, and Ben are in a photo together. Fuck, I, I should try to dig it up. Um... And it's like I'm carrying uh, yeah, you, carrying me, yeah, and then yeah, Ben's yeah. like um, riding, like yeah. like give me like I'm Wallet giving him like you. a piggyback yeah, type yeah, thing, yeah. and I'm carrying, so I'm carrying both of you guys. But just like the three of us, we look so fucking like this is back when emo was super yeah. popular. So like yeah. the long swished hair was yeah. like a thing, yeah. and it's like it was just like oh man, I just yeah. hate I hated that era. Yeah. It doesn't age well, dude. but we lived it, man. We lived it. We oh, lived and it we rocked that shit hard. <laughs> Yo, we were trendsetters, man. We were trendy, dude. We, we were, trendy were so in that fucking people, trendy. People were like, oh, damn, look at these guys. <laughs> <laughs> they said it just like that. Just like that. Oh, damn. Oh, oh damn, dude. <laughs> um, but yeah, just like, oh, my grad photos. They're so cheesy. They're, they're pretty rough. So cheesy, bro. Um, And like we're, and we're also like, because uh, me, you, and then like we were in like the band and stuff, and like we played music and shit. And so it's like, we were like those kind of like, well, I don't know. Would you call us like from drama kids, like the artsy kids? Yeah, for sure. For sure, I would. I, I mean, so. we, we were definitely not jocks. We weren't just drama <laughs> kids, but we were like, you know. Yeah, no, like that's true. But it's like, the, for some reason, like the, the drama kids were not like, like sometimes you see drama kids and they're like, uh, they're just a little extra. You know what I mean? And like, um, they're kind of like, they're almost outcasts in a way. I feel like we were drama kids, but not outcasts. Yeah, we were, we were very inclusive people. We were, yeah. I yeah. feel like our whole like grad class was very yeah, inclusive yeah 
You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, we had a good group of people. We did. You know. Um, what a cringy fucking. I don't know, man. We we would say and do a lot of stupid shit. Yeah. Um. We filmed a lot of stupid shit. Yeah. Like we're the. I think last was it last episode or two episodes ago we were talking. <laughs> Talking about like some of the earliest like shit we filmed and stuff like that. Bear was talking about like uh, his uh, the videos he used to make with Jono. Um, oh yeah. You know like the the ninja videos that yeah, they used to yeah, make yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. And then I I brought up like how we used to record lighting shit on fire. Yeah. And yeah. that shit was cringy. Yeah, it was pretty. Cringy. Like that's just pretty cringy. It's pretty cringy. Like I don't worry. I can't believe we did that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was also saying, like that shit was dangerous as hell, man. Yeah. The shit was like yeah, I remember this. There's one instance where I like I swear like we were lighting shit on fire. We we made like these fireballs <laughs> in your cousin's room. Yeah, that could have gone bad. And uh, it was basically just like a ton of like fabric wrapped in like a ball, can super condensed, dipped in like what, what did he use like polish nail remover. polish removal? Yeah, yeah. So it's super flammable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we light it on fire inside of the house. Yeah. yeah. And I remember he was just playing around with it. And one time it went behind like the trash can yeah. and it looked, it was there's so... There's a bunch of wires. And there's stuff a bunch of wires and like loose debris and oh, garbage. Shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. oh, fuck. Oh, shit. That shit was so bad. Um, that's pretty cringy. I think that qualifies. Just, yeah. Cringy videos and photos. Like even, even like, um, like the banging, like my old oh, horror videos. I don't ever want to see that. that shit. Yeah. <laughs> those are great. I don't ever want to see the light of day. Those, so. no, don't worry, I won't. Yeah, yeah. Those were quality films. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for, yeah, for us. <laughs> for us. But no, never, no, never, never, never. Anyways, that is going to be it for episode 105. 105. Of the Top Tier Podcast. Who was that question from? Was it Sad Little Pun Pun? Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for the question. Yes. Sad Little Pun Pun. Um, that is going to be it for episode 105 of the Top Tier Podcast. If you guys want your questions read on the show, send them in to toptierpodcast at gmail.com or you can send them in via the community Discord. Uh, do you know what? I was actually walking around um, just down on Columbia Street and they have a podcast space. You can rent out a podcast space. Really? Like a big-ass fucking room. That you can get a green screen, all these professional mics, cameras, and it's super fucking cheap. And I'm just like, we need to record like a special here. Sure. Like next time we do like a Halloween special yeah. or something like that, we need to do like special occasions. We need to rent out that space. Let's do it. Because I'm just like, yo, this place is dope as hell. It's super like, and it's literally just down the street, like a block away, cool. super close to the train station. Dope. And um, like I went, I went in and they're like, uh, the place was like dead. It was just like the one little like lady working there. And she's like, yeah, want me to show you around? And I was like, yeah, hell yeah. And they like took me around and I was like, oh shit, we could totally use this. Mm-hmm. And it was like, a, I think it was a hundred bucks to have the whole space for a day. Wow. For a whole day. For a whole day. Wow. And like, usually if you want to rent studio space or something like that, by the anything, hour and stuff. it's like by the hour and it's yeah. crazy expensive. Yeah. So I'm just like, we are hitting this shit up for sure. For like our Halloween episode or we should do a proper episode 100 celebration. Yeah. yeah Dip yeah. into that Patreon money and rent the space yeah, for let's a Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, but that would be super cool. Anyways. I'm down. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks, Lou. Thanks to you guys. Thanks to our patrons. Peace out. Peace out.